This video is on exercise and sleep during a VLCD. I certainly encourage exercise uh, during VLCD. Um, in the very beginning, like the first week, I recommend you take it slowly uh, as your body adjusts to the fluid shifts because you do uh, have a lot of fluid shifts during that first week, especially because you're drinking so much fluid and it's so low in sodium and you're urinating a lot, you have a lot of fluid shifts, so um, you can get lightheaded. Um, you have that carbohydrate withdrawal going on as well. So listen to your body, you take it slow. If you are used to working out with a personal trainer, um, ask them to go um, light on you. Uh, if you do something like a spin class, take it easy. Um, just listen to your body. If you're getting lightheaded, slow it down. If you do heavy, heavy weight lifting, you want to go light on that. But walking certainly is perfectly fine. If you're a runner, uh, take it easy. If you start to get at all lightheaded, you know, slow it down to a walk. But certainly throughout the rest of the VLCD, there have uh, been very good studies to show that VLCD and uh, exercise is wonderful together. It does not necessarily increase the rapidity of your weight loss, but it does improve your ability to maintain and fortunately to be able to eat more when you, can, when you do uh, go into maintenance on the VLCD. So that's what's wonderful about exercise. The more muscle you build, for one thing, the more calories that you're able to take in, the better you'll, you're able to maintain. So um, cardiovascular health and exercise, extremely important. So we definitely want to encourage exercise and exercise during a VLCD is uh, very, very much encouraged. And I like you to build that habit lifelong. However, if you are not currently exercising at all and you start a VLCD, uh, I don't want you to start something that is over the top, something that you're not going to maintain. Well, I don't want you to go on this binge of something that's not uh, going to be something you're going to do forever. So take it slow and let's be reasonable. Um, we're building a lifestyle here not something that is um, just uh, a binge. This is uh, something that's lifelong. So uh, we, we work on all that together, and that's why you see us weekly at Dr. Mantra's Make All Weight Solutions. Now very quickly here uh, on sleep. Crucial, crucial, crucial for multiple, multiple reasons. Would I love everyone to have eight hours of sleep a night? Absolutely. Can I get that in myself? Absolutely not, I wish I could. When I do, I am a whole new person. It's incredible. There is a hormone that is released only when you sleep that is an appetite suppressant. I really preach that to my patients. You need to try to get more sleep in, and I see it. I've been practicing weight loss medicine for uh, well over 10 years, and it's night and day difference how they lose weight when they've been sleeping. So sometimes I make them do a sleep log because it makes a huge difference, um, especially shift workers. It's really crucial. Make sure that you get your sleep in at six hours. You gotta get six hours. So um, there's studies to show many, many reasons why you need to get your sleep in. Until the next topic, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.